Here is an another review of DC Universe Classics Big Barda. Currently, I'm in the midst of opening the box, which is like any other DC Universe box. Here is that the like the box of, say, Murray Batson, we already have. Got no top. It says a lot of doodle thing in the back. To be, be open. She's out. You can notice she and like Mary Batson has no buttons and stuff. The figure the served on. Poor served arm belongs to a Dolph Digger figure. Then a victim of hers. So the I'm gonna have to go ask Dad to get the scissors now. So enjoy this view of the figure for a bit and then I'll just have to go get the scissors so now I took a panoramic view over the box it's a, it's a nice uh, card back uh, she's on the back too a decent shot. I'm hoping it's eventually the video of the icon. Now that I've got the scissors, and now I'm gonna twist my wide open. I just cut the twist eye open, so now I'm gonna put the scissors away. to go with the cute types of people in it. I was being demoted to boss. She's about to pull her out. I'm going to actually pull her out of the box. Out of the box. Hard work, especially considering I'm you know, shooting the film on a freaking iPhone. Oh, I meant iPod Touch, actually. And she's out. This Barda figure is the standard for DC universes. Handsome. Possible. Joints, I hope to get it. Tripod stand someday. The neck, which can only wiggle a little, I think. Her mask might be removable. Each shoulder. At two places, just like Mary Batson, as I'll show you here. 
pose, wrist, the torso with two joints unlike Mary Batson, the hips, knees, the ankles. Pretty well detailed. The bad part is you can't remove her hat. But say unlike uh, SOTA Revolution's Rainbow Mika, she doesn't have any kit bash parts. I really, really hate those kit bash part. <laughs> really hate the extra head and hands and stuff. I hated them. I hated them. I hated them. Just can't put them on. Put that on without breaking your Bartley. So. Of course, it's got Adam Smasher's arm in there. I'm wondering if this is compatible with Dark Seed's arm. Dark Beat Chest. Let's try it. Oh, I'm waiting. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. For all this, is, this is another figure from DC Classics. I'll be a David a video with this figure. Soon enough, it might be good. Well, and here's my big question of the review. What figure do you want me to review next? Awful. I think you should do Mary Batson next. Uh, so far I've been able to determine the pattern is Street Fighter, Transformers, DC. Are you going to do another Street Fighter or is it going to be a Sonic next? Mm. Well, Tails, you got it wrong. The pattern is Transformers, uh, Transformers, Transformers, uh, DC, well, Transformers, DC Sonic is usually Transformers, DC Sonic, and something random. My first, my earlier reviews were just Transformers, expanded DC. Oh, oh, and you, YouTube video viewers, who do you want to see next? I have a whole table full of Sonic the Hedgehog figures, and Mary Beth and also from DCU Classics. Um, I have some vintage Disney stuff. A whole rack and several boxes full of Transformers. And up there in the very corners, you can see Power Rangers figures. My little brother's also got plenty of Power Rangers toys. And when you can notice a Pokemon figure. Two. Do you want me to review one of the figures I already have or go buy a new figure to review it? Who do you want to be? See. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be something I already have. You could just go request me to buy something that I can re so I can review it too, so like other video reviewers. And uh, one last shot of Big Bada. And uh, talk to you later, troopers. Bye, troopers.